right off the bat, we have to say this cabinet looks incredible. As far as from a standpoint of the cabinet actually looking like the original, I think they did a fantastic job. The artwork itself already looks amazing. The only thing that's even slightly different for the most part that's a standout is the marquee's not slanted with the cabinet, but I honestly think it works better this way just for the fact that the screen is not being blocked, at least for my height. With this cabinet, you get 12 games and you get a good collection of them. There's quite a few classic arcade games and some that we haven't heard of. I mean, there's Asteroids, Centipede, Major Havoc, Missile Command, Aka R, which was a new one for us. Apparently it was an unreleased prototype game back in 1982 and when it was tested, they said it was too hard and didn't think people would enjoy it because it was too difficult. So we're now actually getting that to play, so that'll be pretty exciting. That's cool, because that's yeah. the only one I haven't actually heard of, yeah. so it's, it's kind of cool to have. We also get Crystal Castles, Tempest, Millipede, Gravitar, Liberator, Asteroids Deluxe, and Space Duel. So you get a lot of good games for this. Like we said, 12 in one cabinet, and it's pretty great. And so the controls, everything actually works very well. The trackball has a nice spin to it. <laughs> and then the buttons feel great. The thing that took me most by surprise is the spinner because I guess I was just expecting the spinner to feel cheaper than what it does. The step up from their original Atari cabinets, there's a huge improvement here. There's a, there's no more the clicky, it's, it is a free spinning. Now, we're not talking the spin level quality of like a GRS product, but it does work very nicely. So overall, I think that's great. Um, I did want to point out, we still are going to be modding this with a GRS spinner and trackball. Trackball is going to light up just because, we, number one, we think it's going to look fantastic mm -hmm. on the cabinet, but two, uh, we just want the, the extra precision. But I'm just saying, for what you get here, I think you'll still be happy with it. It's, it's definitely one of the better cabinets they've made from a quality standpoint, for sure. And the screen. The screen looks great. Yep. Yeah. I thought they did a good job with keeping everything formatted somewhat well you know like even when they have to use black bars like the screens the Bl screen it blends is, in yeah it blends yeah. in you know it's not really that noticeable but yeah i thought they overall did a great job personally i think this is probably the best looking cabinet arcade one up has done just like visuals yeah and i do think they've stepped up the controls quite a bit so that's that's really nice Yep, for, for someone that wants to, you know, if they're doing a full arcade, I think this is one that you're going to want front and center. It really sticks out. The artwork's amazing. I mean, so is the original cabinet itself, but I meant this is amazing. So definitely one we're happy to have, and I think they did a fantastic job. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and consider subscribing so you can see all of our videos as soon as they post. Post a lot of great stuff about arcades and retro games and some newer games. So. Yep. Subscribe to the channel and we will hopefully talk to you soon. Thanks guys. See ya.